Right, what's the span of that? Would that last? What do we want? It? Two hours?
big good afternoon from Eurasia Oval. Uh, filming footy called of Oz coverage of HFL W Grand final day. We've already seen the first game of the uh, Premiership decider of the day, that being the, uh, the girls under 14, so uh, yeah, we'll run away. Victory to Mount Barker. Jeff Pistola here with you, and alongside me is uh, Jaden J. Hill. Jaden, uh, great to see you, and uh, more importantly, a huge crowd in the house here for this uh, culmination of the women's season in the Hills. Yes, thanks, Pistols. Uh, welcome to you. Great to be here, and yeah, big crowd here. Um this afternoon and this morning, so it should be a, a great game between Mount Lofty and Hundleth. And congratulations to Mount Barker, our back to back premiers in the under 14 girls, so quite a convincing win there over Hundleth. Yeah, fantastic reports for the uh, young Barkaroos, so now we're getting set for the under 17 girls grand final fixing the Mount Lofty Football Club and uh, Hundleth Football Club. And uh, just says something about the junior women's program, uh, Jaden, uh, Hardworth in, uh, in two grand finals today, 14s of course, and now the uh, 7-8s. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, great work by Hardworth to have a, a solid uh, junior girls program and also obviously uh, they're going for back-to-back -back premiers as well. And uh, Mount Lofty were here on this day last year as well, so grand final rematch from last year's fixture. So uh, it's a, a testament to both clubs having good uh, junior girls programs. And if we call on that day, which of course we did cover on Tilbury footy, um, Hardworth were pretty dominant in the victory, so Mount Lofty will be looking to turn the tables. Actually, if you look at the Premiership table, they finished uh, pretty close together. 14 wins for Hardworth. Mount Lofty had 13 and a uh, and running to one loss. Yes. So, yeah, which probably was the Hardworth one. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, last year was 11-8-74 uh, to 0 2, two on this occasion. So as yeah, so we just see the uh, girls get to their positions and... So it looks like Harndorf will be kicking towards the right of screen at the, uh, the Radio Primary School end and uh, the Devils will be going towards the bowling club end to the left of the screen. So I uh, trust you will enjoy our coverage here this afternoon. And of course the uh, senior women to follow from 1.30 to 8.00. Yes. Blackwood Green and Mount Lofty. So we have uh, Adam Escott and Brian Raw in charge as the siren sounds. We're right next to the timekeeper's box here in the Ferrari stand. So uh, pretty good view here. So the first clearance here. Ball comes out here. Devils running through. Team of handballs there. A little scrappy play there. With opening out minutes here as you'd expect. Grand final. Just get rid of a bit of a nervous tension here. So ruck to your ball comes down here. It's chance for Dorf to go forward. Handling the ball forward. Yeah, so George played the ball there. Oh, on the break here for the Magpies. Rose Shearer, I reckon that was. Yeah. Attempted the mark there. You see the contingent of uh, Mount Lofty supporters down there because I see the consecutive grand finals here with uh, the 17s and then the uh, senior women. So uh, fantastic. Sunday here, Jaden, weather-wise, as we say, not, a, uh, not too many car parks on up here at the moment. If uh, you're watching at home, you want to come live and watch it. As going forward there, there's uh, Sakala Hobbs, smothered kick there, Devil's Defence, it's a bit of scrappy football. Ball being held up there, got a good strong tackle applied there. So, Arnold inside their 50 metre arc as they went towards the primary school end. Rutgill, ball comes down. There was probably the ball end up with a Phoebe net. And the headgear there, poke forward for the Pies, coming to meet the Mount Lofty defender. Over and runs, he goes back and gets it. That was really, really hot off. Finally, the ball comes out here, over and runs. Number 17 and head gear, Rose Shearer, already seen a bit of her already in the opening minutes. Yes, well she's uh, actually been the best players most times for Handel this season, so a bit of a congested situation, we're down by Best and she gets a handball to Holt Hobbs, gets a handball but to a Mount Lofty opponent, she tries to clear, they're trying to clear here, Mount Lofty, oh, great strong tackle, that was uh, Ashley Bryant there, all done to her. And she has an opportunity to go back inside forward 50 for Harnoff, who are pressing. Kicks inside forward 50, looking for a teammate. Couldn't quite take the mark there, was Mount Lofty. They clear. What can they do here? Ball, oh, bad bounce for Mount Lofty. Oh, great tackle there by Kilkenny Jones. And uh, she's been rewarded. So 
She goes wide. Bouncing up, Bennett about lofty still. Well done, good pick up there. Oh, good strong tackle there by Handorf, and umpire has credited him with the free kick. So, yeah, good pressure game at the moment, Pistols. Absolutely. So, Rose Shearer takes the ball out wide, finds the teammate there. Sheldrick in the uh, highly numbered 88. Haven't seen one of them. No. <laughs> number. So, ball comes in, probably the favourite uh, number of once again, while there was uh, Rose Shearer, she goes to the ground. It all might have hurt herself down on the haunches of the moment. The ball comes forward. Ball taken out of the air there by Zoe Bear. Ball wide here. Sets with the pies on their own. Devils come in on the outer wing area. You can see the crowd in the house enjoying good conditions and uh, a tight game of football in the early days. Some of the girls grand final. Here's a chance now with the ball set for the Devils. It does. Getting around nice. It was Kilkenny Jones in the uh, helmet. Pushes the ball forward on a favourable bounce. Again for the Devils. Taken by Riley Abbott. Has a shot at goal offline versus the first score of the game. So it's the Devils on the board first. One behind leading Handorf with the score. So Handorf now looking to uh, clear. Runs out. Good, good uh, length kick there. But fans of my Mel off the opponent. They go forward. And good, strong defence there by Hanoff. Take the mark, and she does not hesitate. Runs on, kicks the ball in front of us. But oh, good mark there. That was uh, Lily Smart, I believe. She's very talented athlete and uh, runner. Yes, Lily Smart. So kicks the ball inside forward 50. Ball bobbing around. Opportunity here for Bear. She goes over and unpasses um, play on. And well done there. That was Phoebe Neck. Takes the opportunity and puts it straight through the big sticks. Yeah, good work, yeah. So good mark by Smart, set the ball back in, and uh, Phoebe Neck registering her ninth goal for the season, Jaden. So yes. uh, 15 minute quarters at the place, so uh, yep. just under five minutes. Well, expired here, so good early goals, and uh, forward ventures by Mount Lofty. Hard off had the ball in the initial stages of the two. Couldn't capitalise, and uh, well, the Devils, two shots on goal and one goal one. Yeah, well, three inside 50s, and yeah, two shots on goal, so pretty good uh, forward 50 percentage there by the Mount Lofty Devils. So, um, just see the runners barking instructions at the moment, and good start to the game. So, of course, the coach is Lacey Dawson for Mount Lofty, Jane. She'll be seen in a uh, little bit later on in the uh, senior side, and also Hannah Dreckow for the. Arndorf, meanwhile, ball comes out here towards the cricket pitch area. Taken here by the Pies, they go towards 50. Getting back there, that's a good mark taken there. Off to the races. There's Darcy. But the kick is uh, off line, over the boundary lines. So it looks like the Devils through the agency of uh, Olhoff. Olhoff, to take the uh, result of free kick, last touch. Puts the bombs, could be another uh, case here. The ball goes out over the line. That's the harm if you should have let that go. Yeah. <laughs> have the result and kick, but that's going to be a, uh, well, not a boundary throwing, but they do throw the ball up as they bring it inside. So no boundary. Um, I like the last touch rule. That's something yes. that you bring in the AFL. would uh, end a lot of conjecture. Exactly, yes. I uh, completely agree with that one, Pistols. Um, it's worked well in the... community football? Yeah, it's worked well in the SNFL yeah, as well. Absolutely. So, yeah, as the uh, ball goes up. What can Mount Lofty do here? Can they clear and score their second goal? Handoff looking to score their first. Oh, good defensive mark there. Well done to Bailey Cooper, the vice captain for Handoff. She goes in front of us, goes wide. They kick forward Handoff out on the full, I believe, and uh, the umpire gives it a free kick to Mount Lofty. With Molly Closey is going to is going to. Uh, Take the kick in. So Closey brings it up in front of the Ferrari stand where we call the game. From tap forward there, working hard. Pops. Then the ball comes out. Look, it's deflected back in the pack. Short hair balls there, congested football. Deflected off the boot, bouncing ball. Gathered there for the pie. So a good tackle applied there on Cooper. She fights back strongly. Takes the ball to the ground. So a very good game of football here at the moment. Devils 1-1, one, one, leading Handorf. We've played about eight minutes in this first term at the grand final for 2023. Uh, another good tackle applied there. But I hope she's been very busy. Yeah, she, she has. Handball kick away from Pies through Lily Adams, I think it was. Famous football name there. Good clearing kick there for the Devils through Kira May. So now, Mount Lofty looking to go on the run here. 
Thanks to Smart, she kicks the ball forward. Bit of a dribbling ball. Harnoff, well done there. That was Cooper. Kicks the ball, finds a teammate, and good mark there by Bryant. So she's looking to calm down a little bit here. Kicks the ball forward. Looking for a teammate. Oh, good. A cut off mark there. That was by Smart. She's been busy pistols in this game so far. And she's got very good hands, very good netball, very good high jumper. So she's got a good leap, good set of hands on the joke. Could make a good football. <laughs> Ball held up there. Good tackle fired by Mount Lofty uh, Rosler. So Rosler contests the ruck, goes to opposite number 19. Ball comes down and trying to break clear. Comes out the back door to Hobbs. Oh, I think it's deflected there. Good work there by Bear. Well, it's set for it, goes for a long hand ball. Just evades her teammate. Pressure on here, first to get the ball for the Pies. It was Vagara. He's up ended. There's a chance for Devils there. Pressure is very good at the moment, Jane. Ball yeah, it sure is. Here. Close to the boundary line. Oh, good pressure applied there. Girls certainly not holding back here. Why not? It's the grand final. Everything's on the line. Smart there. Finally, it's scattered for the Pies. Oh, good elusive work. Comes back to Bagara. She's ridden to the ground. A bed tackle when umpire rule will come in and ball it up. So we've played nine minutes. Devils 1-1. One, one, Hunter fit to get on the board here. Under 17, eight to the W grand final. Five inside 50s to four in favour of Handoff at the moment. Mount Lofty in their forward 50. Cut off there by the Handoff opponent. What can Mount Lofty do here? Can they lock it in? Oh, good strong tackle there. That was Ashley Bryant. Good pressure there, making sure Mount Lofty don't clear. Umpire Bryant rule. Throws the ball up. Handoff looking to clear here. Handball just bobbing around here. Good kick out, but unfortunately that's gone wayward for the Magpies, and it's going to be a free kick to Mount Lofty here on the uh, near side, in front of the grandstand. So the Devils with the agency. So it's going to be Rebecca Jones, in front of the old grandstand here, for those who know the road road, and of course we're broadcasting from the Ferrari stand, atop, which is all of people's great view up here, great crowd in the house. So plenty of uh, good action, as you said, if you're watching, you want to come close by, you want to come down, any of the spots and you'll see a good afternoon's women's football here. Here's a chance for the Pies right in front of the grounds. Taken here by Hack, forward there by Claire McMillan, bouncing ball. When feverish and Magpies defence coming in there, taking the ball, or it's Hobbs, the skipper, as they've been busy already. Ball comes out, but the push has been alleged by the umpire, so it'll be a free kick to the Magpies on the wing area. So, wasting no time, they're heading towards the centre. Play out there and I takes the mark. That's the, uh, the famous number 88 in Ellis Shield. Yes. So, Harnoff looking to go forward. They're playing a good brand of footy here. Both teams are looking to get the ball forward at all opportunities. And uh, congested situation right on the cricket pitch here, right in front of us, actually. So, in the middle of the ground. Umpire balls it up. Tap out there by Mount Lofty. Harnoff. They get the kick forward, but only as far as Kira May. She kicks the ball forward, a bit of a dribbler. It might work in favour for Mel Lofty, but it doesn't. Ella Sheldrick, she gets the handball forward. Oh, good strong tackle. The tackling's been immense here at the moment, Pistols, and uh, Mel Lofty have an opportunity here to, uh, to clear. So. so, free kick to be taken. High kick. Mark taken there. Good strong mark in the pack. For the agency there of uh, Cordes Harvey. So Cordes Harvey puts it forward, back at the bus set, tempted to climb the mark. I think it came off a few sets of hands there. Yeah, Harvey. yeah. Brian Rule in a good, good spot there to rule it play on. So an opportunity here for Mount Lofty. So what can they do here? It's a bit of a congested situation here at the moment. The ball's not coming out. Umpire Brian Rule says, "Give it to me." So. Just over three minutes to play here in this quarter. Mount Lofty 117, leading Handolf no score. So, get the handball out was Handolf. They're looking to clear another handball. Mount Lofty though, good pressure. Kick inside. Phoebe next. She's been busy. And but Shakela Hobbs, I reckon. She has played a good game so far. Well positioned, takes the mark. So she's looking to clear here for Handolf. Gets the kick forward. A bit wayward though. Comes off the shin of the Mount Lofty player. In the lap of the Mount Lofty player there. That was Kilkenny Jones. Goes to the square. Ball bobbing around. Matt Lofty, can they take this opportunity? Gets the handball out. And no ball keeps bobbing around. Matt Lofty gets the foot to it. Still just bobbing around here. A lot of pressure in the, right in the heat of it. And uh, it's going to be ball up pistols. So 
Yeah, compared to Joe's bit unlucky yeah. there, that high ball to bounce to the ball, bounce <laughs> backwards. A number of times you see him bounce on, but not on occasion. Good tap down there to a teammate. Locked up there. For the Devils, so once again we'll see a ball up. Ball comes here, quick kick away from the agency of Cooper, I think it was. Forward is the Pies. Miscued handball. Seeing a ground there nicely for the Devils. It was Jones. As a result, the ball comes back inside 50. Hard of defence, little toe poke clear. Going by the Devils. Smart getting there, Isabel Smart, because two sisters down there this afternoon. Isabel and Lee, bouncing ball. Oh, taking the ball in front of us, standing the ground there, and then applying good tackles. Kira May is also uh, sold out in this opening uh, 14 minutes, plus 15 minute quarters, so 90 seconds from quarter time. Ruck duel, ball comes down here. Looking for options, goes backwards, taken here by Ella Manning, drives the highest forward. So, Harnoff now, can they uh, get off? I reckon that's Monique Best, number 22 there. The ball was just scrambled forward here, Mount Lofty. A oh, good pick up there and a oh, good chain of handles and it ends up with Rebecca Jones. She kicks the ball forward here. Opportunity for a oh, bad bounce. The bounce doesn't favour Mount Lofty in the last couple of minutes. Ella Sheldrick, she kicks the ball forward. Looking for a teammate. Good defence here by Mount Lofty. Couldn't quite pick up the ball there. Ball just scrambling around here at the moment. Handball out. What can they do here, Mount Lofty? Well done there. Kicks the ball forward. That was smart. She's been busy. But oh, Shaquilla Hobbs, she's also been busy pistols and she takes the mark. Yeah, Hobbs certainly has. So, Hobbs, just outside the 50 metre square defensively for the Pies. Goes out wide towards the wing. Looking at it for Besson. So, uh, for uh, Signal, somebody has got those a bit of a uh, push out before the ball arrives. So, it'll be a devil's free kick. So, on the eastern wing. Good crowd in the house. High kick forward. Seeing herself as Kim Cooney Jones over the top of the pack. Just before, here's a quick kick forward for the Devils. We go to see the Bear. But Kent under the board taking the mark there. I think it might be a Vergara. Comes out wide in the wing area. Getting a hand to the ball there it was Bryant. Still following up there. Oh, good tackle wide, the disposed neck of the ball. Being the ball out here, caught there. And there you can see quarter time siren has arrived. So Mount Lofty 1 1 7. Arnold yet to get on the board here because the, uh, the goal kicker's Jane. Uh, Nick? Yes, Nick. She uh, kicked the first goal there, so made the opportunity. So. All right, quarter time break. We'll just take a uh, quick little uh, respite and we'll be back for the start of the second quarter here. Under 17, HFLW Girls Grand Final coming in live from uh, your over oval on filming footy through the quarter while back shortly.
behalf of yet to score. So a good, uh, good contest, a bit scrambling, but you expect that in the uh, well, in a grand final, Jaden. Jeff Pistola here with Jaden J. Hill. So all in readiness here, 15 minute quarters. Some by Brian Rule just waiting for the, uh, the crowd to subside across the oval here. So it'll be interesting to see Jaden, Mount Lofty, how they can, uh, if they can raise the first score at the primary school end on the, uh, or kicking towards the right of the screen here. Yeah, so umpire Brian Rule. Looking to uh, ball up here. So, Harndorf now have an opportunity to kick their first goal. Er Ella Sheldrick, number 88, she gets the handball forward. Mount Lofty, though, smart. Like I said, she's been busy. She gets the handball wide. Couldn't quite take it first chance, but they high ball forward. Looking for Isabel Smart from Mount Lofty. Could kick their forward. I reckon that's Besson. Good run chase there. Gets good handball. What can they do here? And umpire says, yep, yeah, pushing the back it was too. So Harndorf have the free kick here, Pistols. Yes, a 25 metre, not handing the ball back there. So it'll go to, uh, well, number 42, Taylor Langcake. Haven't seen a number 42 <laughs> black and white striped jumper since the great Darren Mullane. Yeah, there you go. So Langcake with the ball. Opportunity here. Kick forward there by Manning, who was busy in the first quarter for the Pies. Off hands. First to get there for the Pies. Oh, good tackle. Very good tackle applied there. Good pressure applied by Claire McMillan for the Pies. Uh, so, sorry, for the Devils. And she'll take the resultant free kick just on the 50-metre arc. So she goes wide towards the wing area. Pack settles. Gathered there for the Devils by Closey. Follows it up. Oh, Heavy body clash there. Girls, as we said, not shirking the issue. And umpire rule will come in and bowl it up. Yeah, so Handoff now looking to get, get their first major of the day. Besson strokes the tackle. Well done. Kicks the ball forward for an inside 50. And oh, good mark there by Phoebe Neck. Good defence there from Mount Lofty. So what can she do now? Runs past the... Girl on the mark, kicks it forward. Good punch there by Mount Lofty. That was smart. Isabel Kind. Sheldrick gets the handball away. Good pressure here by Mount Lofty. She, Kayla Hobbs trying to, she ran past the ball though. Just a bit of a scramble here at the moment. And oh, good tackle pressure there by Mount Lofty. Good tackle pressure by both teams so far in this match, Pistols. And uh, it's all locked up here. Yep, Rebecca Jones with a good tackle there for the Devils. So Ruck Jewel. One down there. Besson lurking. Number 22, what a key player she is. Of course, uh, SNFLW for Sturt. Yes. Talented volleyballer, soccer, yes. does it all. She'll be looking for successive premierships here for Handorf in the under-17 grade. But at the moment, a trial 1-1 to no score. Just some stats here. So Mount Lofty have scored 915 points this season to Handorf 555. So, wow. yeah, so Mount Lofty have... Certainly a free scoring team, yes. close to the boundary line there. Couldn't judge last touch, so umpire will ball it up once again. So the rucks do battle. Inconclusive knockout there. Hacked forward there for Bagpies. That so was Hobbs again, close to the goal face here. Chance for their opening score of the game. Be the minor one. So the Pies are on the board. One behind Mount Lofty, 1-1. One, one. So we'll wait for the goal to be kicked back in. So, running out of the uh, square, going long towards the boundary line. This could be last touch, no. Actually flying for it there. The pies, but they perhaps should have let it go and we would have got the yeah. uh, benefit of the free kick. <laughs> but uh, in the pressure of grand final, we perhaps don't think it's clear sometimes. Ball comes down here around the corner was Hobbs. She has been very busy. The skipper puts it forward, bouncing ball. Needed a miraculous break there, but it didn't happen. So consecutive behinds to the Pies. So at least they're starting to get consistent return on the scoreboard. They're two behinds. Mount Lofty 1-1 here. Four minutes gone. Second term. 
under 17 grand final. Yes, yeah, so Mount Lofty looking to clear here. High ball on the outer side. Pat goes up, bobbing around the ball there. That was killed Kenny Jones as well. But Handoff, though, they get the ball forward. Another inside 50 and a good mark there. Mount Lofty's defence has been quite good in this quarter so far with Handoff pressing. High ball here outside their defensive 50 for Mount Lofty. Couldn't quite take it cleanly. It was Rosler. Handoff, though. Monique Besson and umpire says holding the ball. So Mount Lofty are going to get a free kick opportunity here to clear again. Some credit's going to be due to Handoff, though. They've uh, locked the ball in really well in their forward half. High ball there on the outer side. Mount Lofty looking to clear. Kilkenny Jones amongst it again. Handoff, good tackle pressure there. Mount Lofty trying to get it out, but umpire Brian Rule says, give it to me, Pistols. Indeed he does. So the Rucks do battle. One out there by Rosler. Pies go forward. Oh, could have been a push in the back. Yeah. It's very blatant there. <laughs> So that attack is uh, curtailed. So high kick back towards the wing area. Here's Besson in front. Takes a good strong grab. She was, uh, looks like she was pushed out in the contest before the ball arrived. So either way, she has the ball. Thinks about the handball. Gets the opponent, uh, teammate out wide. Close to the boundary line. Soon to be the perfect there. <laughs> And looks like the free kick will go to uh, Jada Birch, of course, very famous name in the Mount Lofty Football Club, daughter yes. of the uh, 300 gamer Bradley. So Birch, similar kicking style of the old man. This ball comes back <laughs> here, taken here by Besson, tries to keep the ball in, handballs back towards the teammate, comes back to Besson, she's under pressure, gets a kick away, teammate gathering there was Lily Adam, uh, Adams, close to the boundary line once again, stacks on the mill there, Jaden Jay. And as uh, they disperse, umpire rule will come in and ball it up. Cricket net pocket. Yes, yeah, so Harnoff looking for their first major of the day. They trail by five points here. Two behinds to seven. Ball goes up. Bit of a congested situation. Looking for a clear pathway. They do Harnoff towards the square. Foot race on at the moment. What can transpire here? Mount Lofty looking to clear. Handoff. Sheldrick around the ball. Well done by the Mount Lofty player. Gets it clear. Only as far as Handoff though. Handball ball. Oh, well done. Good intercept play with Mount Lofty in there. Cleared now. Towards the middle of the ground. Handoff. Oh, good mark there. That was by Vergara. Really good mark. Running forward. That's a real hamstring stretcher, that one. Yeah, it was. Yes. So well done to her. She handles to Manning. She kicks the ball towards... Her 50, but oh, too strong there on that occasion was Mount Lofty. Hey, Molly Close Yeah, there. Molly Close there. So she kicks the ball forward to her teammate. High ball and, yep, umpire has ruled it. Umpire Adam Escott has uh, ruled it. A free kick to Mount Lofty. They go forward. Look for their second inside 50 here for the quarter. Bit of a foot race. Trying to get the hand to it. Mount Lofty bobbing around. They're around the ball here, a lot of candy stripes around the ball here, but what can they do? Get the handball out. Good tackle pressure by Handel. Humboy says play on, he's kept the whistle away in this passage of play. Handball's bobbing around, Kilkenny Jones. Well done by Besson, good defensive play there, gets the handball out. Kick out there for Handel, and they clear. Ball up the line, kept under it was smart, Lily Variety. Got support there from a teammate going forward and closely. Ball still spilling out, comes finally out the best, and she's under pressure, gets a bit of a mung kick, intercepted by the Devils. I tell you what, the umpire's letting it flow here, Jaden J. Yeah, he is. Which is probably yeah. good for him. He's picked out a, a free kick for a holding free there, so it'll go to the, the Magpies. On two behinds to 1-1, one, one they're trailing, but they have bettered their score at the last meeting in the qualifying final and only kicked one behind. Kick, probably not the best up the line and taken here by Smart. Lily Variety, been busy early in this first half. Puts the ball, but can't done the ball. Should have been a mark there. Has been paid in the end, or umpire rule. Yes, ruling that the mark was completed or perhaps a little bit of interference. But either way, Magpie's free kick. High wedge kick out wide, looking for Besson. She makes space, takes the mark in front of a well-populated boundary line. Just uh, becoming a little bit of overcast here at Jaden, early game yes. is a bit of sunshine, but Besson nurses it towards the centre. Over the top, will it sit? Taking the ball as he's trying to take it through there was Darcy. She's hemmed in. 
good tackle applied there, so umpire rule once again will come in a ball on it. So we've played just uh, over 10 minutes here, the second term. Yeah, so if Harnulf don't score in this half, it'll be the fourth time this year they've been scores till half time. So Mount Lofty now, kick the ball forward. Ball bobbing around, plenty of round up. Well done by Kilkenny Jones. She kicks it forward, looking for a two. And oh, great mark there. Roslet. Roslet. She oh, kicks unselfish. the ball to the square. And oh, very unselfish. Finds the teammate there in Kira May. Top of the square. Has leading goal kicker for, has kicked 22 goals yes. for the season, Jane. So she knows where they are. Yep, yep. Second uh, leading goal kicker there. Well done by Kira May. No trouble at all. Kicks it straight through the big sticks. And uh, well done to Mount Lofty. They extend the margin there to 11 points. So well done to Kira May. And yeah, well done to Mount Lofty. You see yesterday, Joe Danaher actually missed a goal from uh, yep. that, exa that exact spot. So well done to Kira May kicking, kicking that one. Like you said, Pistol, 22 goals for the season. Uh, eight behind Nan's Jesse Rosser as well. So uh, well done to Kira May. Yeah, good thing. Quick thing there by Reisler. To just move that ball on quickly. So back in the centre. Can the Pies count and get their first score of the afternoon? Doing a bit of ruck work there is Abbott for the Devils. Ball goes forward here. Cross half back. Taken there by Jones. Sends it long forward, coming to meet it. Hobbs keeps the ball strongly in front of her. Well done. She was had a little bit of a tug there of the jumper. And the umpire saw it. So Hobbs, the skipper for the Pies, goes inside 50. Drifting across to a mark drop there. Follows up strongly. So the Pies goes to ground. That was uh, Darcy. So ball kept between the forward metre, 50 metre arc and the uh, centre square. So ruck duel. Ball comes out the back door. Oh, quick, interesting uh, disposal there. Crow throw perhaps. This ball comes down now. A good tackle applied there. And good the pressure there. I think this is smart again. Lily variety. So she's uh, doing it all. Taking good marks. Delivering the ball and tackling well. Yep, so... Both smarts are doing well today for what Mount Lofty. Ball just gets out there through your hand off. Scramble here at the moment. Mount Lofty get the kick forward. What can they do here, Mount Lofty? Trying to get the ball forward here. Register, register a third goal, but hand off. They stack the pack, and uh, it's going to be a ball up here. So, yeah. um, by Adam Escott. Vagar and uh, Bogdanovich yep. going for it there. Good battle by both girls. Yes, it was. So, ball up here, right on the edge of 50. Full Mount Lofty, ball bobbing around here. Well done by the Harndorf player. Kick the ball forward, just trying to get the ball forward. Good basics of footy, but Mount Lofty though, gets the handball away. Harndorf, they intercept. They go towards the uh, near side, just ball just bobbing around. Bit of a race here. What can they do here, Mount Lofty? Can their defence hold up? And umpire has picked out a free kick and it's going the way of Mount Lofty and Bevan. So Bevan now in front of the grandstand here. Uh, your railer kicks the ball. Pat goes up. Sheldrick there for Harndorf. Well done by Mount Lofty. They kick the ball forward. And uh, Mark is taken. Umpire says play on, not 15, not the required distance. He goes touch off the boot too. Touch off the boot as well. And, uh, but Mount Lofty, their defence has been really good today. And uh, they have taken a mark here right in front of the grandstand pistols. Oh. Umpire has uh, given a 25-metre penalty here. I'm not sure what that was for. But Did she uh, suggest that Besson come over the mark? Yeah, I'm not maybe. sure. Or perhaps... Uh, Dare say maybe a little lip, you wouldn't think so. Mm, no, I wouldn't the think so. The young girls, they no. don't have a lot to say there. <laughs> so, advantage here taken by Neck, already a goal kicker for the Pies, runs slightly around the man in the mark, wedges it forward, defensive spoil there, well taken off hands there, ball spills, but in the meantime, the umpire has ruled that uh, the tackle on McMillan was uh, very good, so a free kick, although a bit undecided who's going to take it here for the Pies, looks like uh, coming back to take it. Is going to be Bailey Cooper, the vice captain, undecided what's on offer. Very close to on the mark there. High kick towards the boundary line, favouring Besson. Got her hands to it, crashes to the ground. Going back on it. Trying to get rid of it there was Lily Laddams. Going to ground is Besson. So she wins a free kick. So Monique Besson. With the ball, half-back flank here for the Pies. Still searching for the first goal in the grand final. Puts it forward. Good mark there taken on the wing area by Jeeves. Off to the races as she runs around the lady on the mark. Puts it forward inside 50. Will it sit here? A couple of Pies mentioning it. Trying to control it there. Once again, that devil's defence, as mentioned by Jaden Jay Hill, was trying to crash yes. her way through there. Was Altoff. 
But in the meantime, she's uh, perhaps held the ball a little bit longer than uh, oh, 25 metres, penalty, so knocked yeah. back on the full here. So the chance here, Jaden Jay Hill, for the first goal. Yep. Sure is. Uh, they don't waste any time hard off, but unfortunately couldn't take the opportunity there. Yeah, perhaps rush that. Yeah, just rush it a little bit. But uh, that's the way they play hard off. They like to get the ball forward at all costs. And, a bit and, of uh, baseball. Play. Yeah, a bit of baseball. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, so Mount Lofty now looking to clear. Pat goes up. Couldn't quite take the mark there. Mount Lofty, just ball just bobbing around here at the moment. Oh, well done there. That was Besson. Get the ball forward here. Mount Lofty, though, they're looking to clear. A bit undecided there, the handoff player, but she kicks ball forward looking for her teammate. And umpire has yet paid the mark there. That was Jeevers. She's been busy the last couple of minutes here for handoff. She's got an opportunity. She d doesn't waste any time. Finds a teammate, and yes, well done there. Good good vision there, Pistols. This may well be a kick after the siren. Yes. There it is. Yeah, so here we go. So pressure kick here for the Pies. Leans back on the kick. It's just scraped through the line. There it is. So I think that may have been Hugo, is it? Yeah, it might have been Hugo or Daly, maybe. Just trying to get the number here, but well done to Handorf. Keep Kept pressing and pressing and pressing, and uh, finally the reward came. So well done to them. They've cut the margin to four points here right on the uh, death of half time. Yep, so as you said, heading into half time, they sort of look a lot better with that. Just trying to pick up that goal kicker there. Yep. Yep. Needed the turnaround for a straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, entertaining game of footy. Mount Lofty perhaps taking the most of their opportunities going forward. Lots of love there for the goal kicker. As uh, Coach Hannah Drecko, of course, had uh, lots of uh, success. Yep, so I reckon it was Chloe, Chloe Sheldrick, I think so. One six. Yep, One six. So, yep, so Chloe, 16. So, yeah, Chloe Sheldrick. Chloe Sheldrick. Raising yep. the first goal. So, take you to the uh, assistance crew in the background here. All right, half time here. HFLW under 17's grand final. Very good game of footy. Handoff getting that goal just on the siren. Mount Lofty in charge. 2 1 13. Handoff 1 3 9. So, four point margin to the Devils as we take a break here on filming footy. We'll be back for the second half shortly.
You're back with filming footage coverage. Call the wild team here working overtime on a Sunday at your Raider <laughs> Oval here in the Adelaide Hills for the Hills Football League Women's Grand Final Day. And at the moment, half time in the under 17 girls title decide. It's Mount Lofty 2 1 13, leading Handoff 1 3 9. Jeff Pistola with you. And alongside me, Jaden J. Hill, as the third term gets underway. Yeah, so here we go. Good finish by Handoff in that term. Hobbers around the ball there, but Mount Lofty, they get the first touch and good tackle pressure there by the two Harnoff opponents. Hobbs being one of them and uh, Harnoff just looking to get a centre clearance here. So ball goes up. Well done there by Harnoff. Good pressure. Monique Besson, she kicks the ball inside forward 50. The first inside 50 for Harnoff in this term. Ball bobbing around here. Can they get one? Oh, but how good has Mount Lofty's defence been? Old off, she kicks the ball and finds a teammate in Isabel Smart. She's been good. Goes to kill Kenny Jones. She kicks the ball forward on the other side. Couldn't quite take the mark there for Handorf. That was Hugo. Ball just bobbing around here at the moment. And umpire's found a free kick and it's going the way of Handorf pistols. Yeah, wing area. Lily Smart trying to break away for the uh, Devils, but illegal disposal. So the Pies bring it back. Further forward, Kilkenny Jones, been impressed with her in the distinctive helmet. Teammate styled off her. Ball comes in there, locked up there is Jada Birch, I think it is. Good football pedigree, as we said. So the Ruck, ruck girls gather. Looks like going unopposed there for the Devils it was Rosler. At ground level, though, they all swarmed over it. So once again, they'll start again. So the 2 19s doing battle here. Rosler, with the reach, got it down. A stolen wheel for the pies there by Hobbs. I think it was. Comes into a teammate. Hobbs lurking again. Goes and gets the ball. to skip feeds it out to a team. Finally comes out the back door here. Chain of handballs intercepted by the Devils. Bouncing ball here. Smart. Ben Pets with her going to the cricket pitch area. Kicks it into the central circle to here. Comes back here to the Devils. Chain of handballs there. They're going to run into the trouble. No. Toe pokes it forward. Will it sit? Yes, it does. Through the agency here of Zoe Bear. Intercepted though, it's the Magpies defence. Grubs a kick forward, coming to meet it strongly for the Devils. There was player going down under pressure. So we will have a ball up. So once again, the intensity there. Good game, a 44-point ball game at this stage, early in the third term, as they fight out the uh, 2023 Premiership. Devils go out forward there through the agency of Kira May, the goal kicker. Top of the square, caught there, can't get rid of the ball. I would say, yes, illegal disposal there, free kick and last line of defence. For Pies through Annie Hooper. Yeah, we'll have a Hooper, good uh, pressure there. She kicks the ball, looking for Besson. Ball just, a oh, great battle, a really good battle there by the two girls. And uh, it's going to be a ball up. So well done by Mount Lofty as well to make sure it didn't clear through Besson. So Escott though, balls it up. Good battle here by Mount Lofty and Handorf. Besson, she kicks the ball forward, bit of a scrambler here. Bogdanovic couldn't quite clear it, and the umpire says, give it to me. So, 12 minutes to go in this third quarter, early stages of this premiership quarter, they call it. Four points of difference in favour of Mount Lofty. Ball bottom around here. A good, strong tackle there. Umpire says, give it to me again. So, really good tackle pressure. So, ball up. What can transpire here in this term? Ball is kicked inside forward 50 from Mount Lofty. Good handball here. Kick the ball forward. Thanks to Rosler. Looking for a teammate. Oh, ball favours Mount Lofty. Umpire just lets it play on. Put the whistle away. Best in there. Right place at the right time, like always. She kicks it forward in front of the canteen there. Oh, oh. Lily Smart. Really in opposition good. to assist yeah. there, <laughs> Really good contest there by uh, Smart three eyes girls. the ball, running against the grain there, Jaden, and uh, unfortunately just spilled it. But, uh, yeah, the two Smart sisters getting involved there. So, ball up again. No clear winner here of this contest so far. And umpire, yep, puts the whistle away. Good kick forward here by Handoff. Good pick up. Kicks the ball forward, scramble forward. Off to the races here, what can transpire? Well done by Mount Lofty, well done there by Hooper. Sorry, that was uh, Nick, sorry, for Mount Lofty. She kicks the ball forward. Hobbs there for Handorf. Smart as well. What happens if Besson, well done.
Kicks the ball forward. It's going to be intercepted. No, couldn't quite take the mark there was Bevan. Get the ball forward here. Hand off. Looking for the teammate. Oh, couldn't quite take the mark. It's a bit of a scramble here at the moment. Good tackle pressure by Mount Lofty. Umpire rule says play on. Ball done by Harnoff. Persisting here. Is the ball going to go? No, it's not. Stay in play and it's out now. So well done there by Harnoff. Darcy, really good persistence there. And also o O'Sullivan as well. They just couldn't get the ball out. They had numbers. Yep. So the Devils' last touch. Broke up this attack. Phoebe Neck, who's doing it at both ends of the ground. Of course, a goal kicker. Only the two for the game so far for the Devils. Neck and May. Sheldrick for the Pies. High kick, still dangerous territory from out lofty. Scrambly play, ball comes to ground. Stacks on the mill. Over the top there, strong body work for the Devils on that occasion. Holding the ball in, so umpire rule. It's only had a game transfers, Jaden, a bit. A minute ago, there was only six players in the forward line. <laughs> Now they've all transferred down the ground to the forward 50. So, relieving kick for the Pies. Centre of the ground, bouncing ball. Coming to meet it is Vergara in the orange boots. Gets a quick kick back. Ah, oh, Rosler should have marked that yeah, one. Bounce off the chest. So, uh, no damage done as it results in the ball up here. She backs up. Rosler, the two 19s doing a battle. Ball comes down there. Slight little tag of the yep. jumper there Freaky on the Devils. Kira May, the goal kicker, who takes the ball out wide to the teammate there in Jones. So Jones now, assessing her options, plays on, kicks the ball. Oh, good mark there by Lily. Mount Lofty. Smart, I think. Smart, Lily. yep. Lily, the, Lily Variety, so smart now. Hembles over to Kilkenny Jones, that is. Kicks the ball inside forward 50. Defence here, retreating here for Harndorf. Kick the ball forward. And good mark there by Daly. Really good composure there by Handel. Make sure they don't panic. Daly going over to Besson. Oh, cool. oh, nearly cut off there by Smart. Doesn't matter. Handel for going forward, though. What can they do here? Off to the races. Bit of a foot race here at the moment. Ball just bobbing around. Oh, well done there by Mount Lofty. Well done there by Closey. Kicks the ball. Gets the ball forward. Trying to clear here, Mount Lofty. Handel. Oh, good handball over. Looking for a, a teammate. Went on by Kill Kenny Jones. Scrambles the ball forward. That was clever. Kick forward here. Handoff looking to retreat. Pressure on. Gets the handball away. Just right in front of us here. Looking to retreat here. Mount Lofty. You couldn't get the handball away. There was Bear. Good tackle pressure there by Handoff. Really good pressure there. Hugo, and she's been rewarded with a free kick. So, Lacey Hugo. Great second, third efforts there. Crowd certainly getting involved here. Puts the ball forward, strength in numbers, and Besson at the front of the pack, though, takes a very good mark. All class this girl, as we know. Versatile sportsman. So, can she lift the pies? They need a goal. Lovely kick down the wing, and a nice mark taken there by our teammate. Laddams, Laddams. And Lily Laddams. That's it. Great pedigree in footy. Over Chris. Ball goes forwards from Laddams, but chopping back and taking a very good mark there is Altoff for the yep. pie, uh, for the uh, Devils. Front of the Devils faithful there under the uh, marquee. Puts the ball back high. Off ground. Tap forward cleverly for the Devils. Coughed up now. Coming in working hard. Oh, good tackle. There. Yeah. Hugo. Close to line. Besson tries to put a claim on the ball, but in the end it's out over the line right in front of the Handorf bench. So nine minutes gone here. No real change to the score. 2-1 no. one plays 1-3 one, here. Third quarter HFL W. Girls grand final. Yep, so right in front of us here. Smart though, she's played well, was held on. Umpire says yep, so umpire roll was further away, but he's paid the free kick here to Lily Smart. She gets the ball forward, but oh, good defence there, good taken there by Vergara. Vergara now assesses her options, kicks a higher ball, looking for a teammate and found it, so well done, good mark there to Bryant. Right now, she's looking to do a switch on the outer side, but I'll oh, cut off there by Mount Lofty. So Mount Lofty now looking to counter attack here. That was Closey. She kicks the ball forward. Yep, and has found Isabel, Isabel Smart. Smart. She goes off. She's running. Kicks it forward to the square. Looking for a teammate there. Looking transpire here. Abbott gets the handball away, and up says says nut. Incorrect disposal, and they're off here. So hand off now. What can they do? 
Kicks, kicks it forward, front of the grandstand. Oh, well done. Good, good attack on the ball from Mount Lofty. That was Bogdanovic and Bear there, but uh, it's going to be a free kick to Handolf Pistols. Ball out of bounds, right in the interchange area. So it's Monique Besson who's starting to warm into the game. Vital influence for the Pies. Puts the ball forward, front of the bus, playing a very good mark. Yes. Kira May, goal kicker. Leading goal kicker for the Devils this season with 23 now, having kicked the goal in that second term. So May puts the ball forward. Besson territory again. Puts up a hand and, uh, well, nicely called there. Eyes for the yes. ball. So Monique Besson, mm -hmm. what's on offer? Game's a little bit uh, congested here. They need to get the ball out in the open. Puts it back. Here's another chance and good mark taken by that great set of hands possessed by Lily Smart, yeah. as I said. Very good netballer for Crafus and a very good high jumper as well, Jaden. So, what can uh, transpire here for Mount Lofty? Well, we're just congested here at the moment. Oh, well done there by Mount Lofty. They clear. Well done by Nick. Gets the ball forward, but it's all hard off here at the moment. Well done. Good pick up. Gets the kick away just. That was Masrek. What? Can Mount Lofty do here? Can they counter-attack here? Well done by Nett. Gets the handball away, but well done by Handorf. Bryant gets the handball forward. Only as far as May. She's been dispossessed. Umpire says play on. Neck kicks the ball inside forward 50. No clear winner here at the moment. Good tackle pressure here by Mount Lofty. The handball, though, to no avail. Handorf, they can't clear. The Mount Lofty play here. Kicks forward. <laughs> Smart, great body yes. work there. And it's just bobbing around here at the moment. Oh, there's about four on to two here at the moment. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a free kick. Dispossessed there. Uh, umpire says, no, take it back. It's actually, Smart so, should take yes, the free kick, smart's I suggest. Kick. Yep, so Smart's kick now. She's got a chance to put her side inside forward 50. Goes to kill Kenny Jones. Kicks it inside the forward 50 for Mount Lofty. Good pick up there. Couldn't quite get it on the boot. Gets a handball away. Sheldrick here retreating for Handorf. Couldn't quite take it there, her teammate. Sheldrick gets it back, gets the handball away. Under immense pressure here, Handorf. Mount Lofty piling it on here at the moment. And umpire says play on. Gets the kick away, Mount Lofty. Ball bobbing around. Oh, goalkeeper there for Handorf. Well done. Clears the ball, but only as far as May. She's been busy in this quarter. Gets the handball away to Brazza. She kicks the ball forward. Oh, in top of the square. Scrambling here at the moment. Mount Lofty trying to score there. Third goal of the match, but uh, it is a behind. Well, that's his reply there. He said, <laughs> press is pretty tense here. Lofty 2-2, two, two, leading hand off 1-3. So five-point margin inside the last three minutes, third term. Ball out wide. Mark for the uh, pies. In the, uh, formerly the pub with no beer pocket. Plenty of beer there now. Your own hotel. Looks like a well patronised this afternoon as is the Eurada Oval car park. He, hard to find a park, and that's good to see for HFLW Grand Final Day. Ball running around there, putting her head over the ball and trying to wrench away. Clear there was Molly Closey, I think it was. Wins a free kick. So Closey with the ball just inside the centre square. Seeks some options, goes high. Magpies there, off hands. Picked up by the Devils, spills free. In the meantime, umpire rule has picked out a free kick here. It will go to the Devils. So the chance just inside the 50 metre arc. Looks like it might be Neck. Here's Kilkenny Jones, puts a head over the ball nicely. Then over the shoulder, high kick forward. It's all Magpies, should take the mark. No, it's fumbled there. Opens up the opportunity for the Devils. Across the goal here comes to Monique Besson, and no doubt with a cool head there, she'll just calm down proceedings. Six looks for the handball off. No, it goes with the boot target up here. It should take the mark. Good grab there, taken by Bailey Cooper. So Cooper now. Kicks the ball towards the cricket pitch area. Four on one here at the moment, and it works out that way too. Good mark there by May. She's been good in this quarter. Been good for most of the match as well. She kicks the ball inside forward 50 again for Mount Lofty. They're piling on here at the moment. Goalkeeper sort of action there for Handorf, oh. but the kick only as far as Smart. She's been one of their better players there. So no, 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 no
Goes over to Isabel Smart, kicks the ball towards the square, bobbing around here at the moment. Handorf, trying to clear, but the ball was just locked up there. No? Yep, locked up there, so only 15 seconds to go, Pistols. You're fine, you don't have that problem, uh, calling normally sat there with the ponytail over the number there. <laughs> yeah, so, yes, yes. So, ball comes out here to kill Kenny Jones, can they get a late one? Seven seconds to go, we need a mark in the corridor here, puts it back, Handorf should repel, they'll hold on, and there it is, the three-quarter siren goes. But Handorf clawed up a bit there, they hadn't had a goal up until half-time, or just before yeah, half-time. Yeah. But, uh, well, one straight kick the difference here. 2-2 two, two plays 1-3, so a five-point margin as we head into three-quarter time here. Call with the Wild and filming footage coverage of HFLW Grand Final Day. We'll be back with the exciting last quarter of the Under-17 Girls Grand Final after a short break. Back here on filming footage coverage of HFLW Grand Final Day here at Eurasia Oval in the picturesque Adelaide Hills. Good weather here. Jeff Pastola with you and joined by Jaden J. Hill. And uh, Jaden, sun just poking out again, but uh, three quarter time, plenty of enthusiasm in the Handorf huddle just down in front of us as they trail by five points, uh, one three to two two. It's the last quarter about to start. So, uh, yeah. If uh, enthusiasm is to go by, they'll be making a real pitch here for back-to-back -back flags. Yes, exactly, and uh, it's interesting. Last time these two teams played, it was 26-1 to 1 at three-quarter time in Mount Lofty's favour, so completely different game here. Pressure, pressure, pressure everywhere, so it'll be interesting to see uh, who can come out on top. So, umpire Brian Rule. They're in readiness, just checking. The skippers. So we're underway. So 15 minutes from crowning the under-17 girls premier for 2023 in the Hills Football League. So opening bounce swatted down there by Rosler. Smart already in the action. Lee being a pretty good player this afternoon. Yeah. This game. And, uh, both sides having uh, a lot of players certainly on the biggest stage of all shining. So Rosler works her way to the front. Quick handball comes out to Hobbs. She's been good this afternoon. The magpie skipper comes out here towards Isabel Smart. Couldn't trap it. Taken forward there for the magpies. 
Ball comes clear. Here's a chance for the Pies. Bit of pace there. Managed to get the boot to ball. Put it forward. Oh, coming to meet it. Cruel bounce there. Sits for the Pies. Can they make an opportunity out of this? Inside 50. Clearing handball. Comes out the back door. Taken there by Jones. Underground kick out here towards Smart. Gavins it. He hacks it forward. Cricket pitch area. Get a true bounce there. Gavin by the Pies. Though. Goes inside 50. The Devil's Mark. No. Coughs it up. Taken here. I think that was... Lily Adams wins a free kick there, so Laddams will put the ball inside 50. The Pies want to mark down there somewhere. Ah, oh, off the hands of Besson. Comes out the back door. Devils, defence here. Comes out there. Unkick forward, leading it for the Pies. Oh, toe poke forward there, so scrambly football here, Jaden Jay. Trying to work it forward there. It was Bride who would have a little bit of trouble to draw at three-quarter time. Finally, fed out here towards Jones. Gets a clear kick away for the pie, uh, for the Devils. Oh, oh interesting bounce. bounce out. Still in play. Hobbs comes to meet it. Can she keep the ball in play? Umpire rules that it was over the line, so he'll bring it in for a throw-up. So, intensity still there in the opening minutes of this final time. Sure is. So, ball up. What can happen? Oh, all done there by... Hand off, goes to Hobbs, and she handles yeah. over the back and pressure, pressure everywhere. Well, Manning, nice little tap there. Yep. So, ball up. Oh, shrugs the tackle there, man. Out lofty, bit of a falcon there. Yeah, Manning. Okay, <laughs> well done by Hobbs, but pushing the ball forward. A bit of a foot, foot oh, well done by Sheldrick. Clears, kicks the ball inside 40, looking for a target. And, oh. yep, umpire rule has found a free kick. So, push out there. It's, a, it's going to be, yep. So, it is going to be O'Sullivan here. Opportunity. Just not want to waste any time. Bob's the ball up. And, yes, finds her teammate Besson. in Besson. So, she has the opportunity here to put the Magpies in front. I think for the first time today. 14 goals for the season. Of course, uh, limited appearances. Yeah. Of course, uh, Sturt duty and soccer duty, mm. volleyball duty, yeah, you yeah, name yeah. it. So, Monique Besson, important kick this. She's got the distance. She's got it. There she's it got is. the accuracy. So, Jane J. Hill said, first time on the game, the Magpies have hit the front, albeit by the barest of margin. Two, three plays, two, two. Four minutes expire here. Game on here for yes. the Premiership, Jaden. Sure is. So, well done to Manipson. Ball sailed through the sticks and uh, Handoff now in front. So, 11 and a half minutes to go here in this game. Early stages of the last term. Handoff looking to be back to back Premiers. And Mount Lofty trying to get their first under 17 girls HFL title. Well done by Hobbs. She gets the ball clear for Handoff. They're pressing here, the Magpies. Finds Besson again, and she doesn't waste any time. She goes inside forward 50. What can happen? She's looking for her teammate. Well done by Mount Lofty to spoil there. Ball sort of Ooh. congested here at the moment, and umpires found a free kick, and uh, it's going to be a free kick to Mount Lofty. So Handoff, they're pressing now, Pistols. Yep, Altoff right in the back pocket, cricket neck pocket. Grayler Oval puts it forward. Here's Besson again, but a good mark taken there. I think this is smart in the distance. So ball comes forward, wing area. Hobbs over the back, brings the ball to ground. Follows up. Desperate stuff now. Ball comes out here. Gavin there by Nick, goal kicker. Puts it towards the centre of the ground. Way to numbers here for the Pies if they can get it. They do. Out the back door. Taken there by Ella Manning. Finds a teammate here. Forward. Cooper. Cooper over the back of the pack. The ball spills, lurking. It's Besson. In the meantime, the umpire on the spot has ruled a free yep. kick there. Bit of a push out. It'll go in favour of Mount Lofty. So they'll quell this defence temporarily. Out they go. Here's a chance for Smart off hands. Tackle applied there. Good pressure for the Pies through Bailey. Cooper, but uh, held on a little bit longer, so Lily Smart will take the result for a kick wing area. That's five minutes just about to tick over in the last quarter. So Smart, she's been urged to play on. Oh, side of the boot here, looking for teammates. What what can transpire here for Mount Lofty? They're trying to clear the ball forward. It's all hard off here at the moment. Get the handball away. There was Hugo. Finds her te teammate Jeevers. She kicks the ball forward. Ball bobbing around here, Mount Lofty. Under pressure, couldn't quite find the teammate, hard off there, but a good clearing kick there was Bevan. 
very high pressure stakes here at the moment and it's a free kick to Mount Lofty so they have an opportunity to clear here Pistols. Yep, just got to be precise in these moments now final 10 minutes of the season, just got to make the uh, possessions count so Lily Smart puts the ball at the wing area, here's a chance for Kilkenny Jones in back in front of the bus, follows it up nicely she's got support there from Isabel Smart Jones goes it alone Puts it out here, so you'll find a teammate cricket pitch area. Mark taken there. There's Harvey, I think this. Got it onto the run here of Nick. Goes towards goal. Looking for a teammate. Desperate defence here. The ball sits, running in the open goal. There it is. And nailing it is Riley Abbott. 15th goal and most important one of the season. It's seized the lead back for the Devils. 3 2 plays 2 3 here on the Call of the Wild Sunday edition under 17 girls grand final. Yes, well done there by Abbott, and well done there by Neck too. Good run on play there, and Abbott was out the back, so there you go. Mount Lofty have now regained the lead by five points, just over eight minutes to go in this final term. So it's do or die here at the moment for both teams. So umpire rule, ready to get back into action, so balls up. All done by Handorf, gets a clear tap out there. What can they do? Can they get the lead back? Oh, well done by Mount Lofty. They're clearing forward here. Look for Kilkenny Jones. Ball favours her. Oh, good tap forward. Well done. Kicks the ball inside forward 50 and finds a teammate. Well done. So what can they do here, Mount Lofty? McMillan gets the handball back to Kilkenny Jones. Kicks the ball up the square. It's a three-on-one situation. Ball just bounces oh. through. There you go. Umpire Ramon Mollier. Has, yeah, there it is, so it's a goal, so Mount Lofty, two goals within a minute, and all of a sudden the margin's back out to 11 points. It's all happening here. Kilkenny Jones, yep. following up the goal kicked previously by Abbott, so virtually two goals within about 90 seconds here for the Devils, and they've taken a bit of a, uh, a grip on this flag, 4-2, two, the 2-3 two, as mentioned by Jaden J. Hill, but a ring-ding-ding game here, under 17 girls, Grand final, so back in the centre. Ruck duel, ball comes down, next clear, it's vital in the concept of this game. Seven minutes remaining, so still plenty of time for the Pies as they chase back the back flags. So, Ruck duel, ball comes down here, smart. Ball comes out, hacked forward there by Laddams. Chance for the Pies, are oh, coming to meet the ball strongly there is Kira May. Ball spreads out here, body work there. By Bogdanovic, ball comes out here, taken by Kira May, with coughed up there, good tackle by Hobbs, the ball spills free, here's a chance here for the Pies, can she get clear on the left, hacks it forward, oh, just the wrong side of the post, the attempt there by Emma O'Sullivan, so minor score results, so 2-4, plays 4-2 here, just over six minutes to go, Jade and Jane, it's, uh, it's all happening here, it's under 17 girls grand final. Sure is. So Mount Lofty, kick. Oh, good. Good, strong mark there. It was really smart. Gets back up in front of the old grandstand here. Kicks the ball forward. Couldn't quite take the mark. Oh, yeah. Well done by Kilkenny Jones. One, two, three, juggle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sells the candy three or four times. There you go. Right out in front of us. Kicks the ball forward. Two on one situation here. Oh, well done by Handorf. Gets the handball away there. Oh, great tackle pressure. The tackle pressure all day has been unreal. Kilkenny kicks the ball forward. Looking for a teammate in space. There you go. What can happen here? McMillan. McMillan strolls into goal and she kicks it. Out. There it is. There you go. Claire McMillan Claire on the McMillan. run. She just had a whole paddock there. And, uh, and yep, three goals within two minutes or two or three minutes here. So... Well done to Mount Lofty. All of a sudden, the margin is 17 points. Great work there from Kilkenny Jones. Took the mark, showed the ball, and said, I've got the better helmet. Ran yeah, around the yeah, opponent yeah. and set up the run-in goal by McMillan. So, fantastic ever. So, the Devils here chasing their first under-17 girls premiership. As after Handel finished minor premiers, only by a point ahead of them. Beat them in the qualifying final. So, now the chance for back-to-back -back wins. Ball held in there. So Mount Lofty, as we said, just under four, five minutes to go now, Jade. And they'll be quite content just to hold the ball in here as they have this lead of what, to 17 points. 
So, all to do for the defending premiers and the magpies. Ball spills out here. Good work by Smart. Ball comes forward. They're camped under the ball and taking the mark. Cricket pitch area is Bevan. All the time in the order she goes back. So, Bevan now. High ball. Looking for a timber. Yeah, good mark there. That was smart. She's had a great game. Kicks the ball forward inside forward 50 here. All two. No, couldn't quite take the mark. Cool, Kenny Jones, she's been busy in this term. Umpire says holding the ball, incorrect disposal, take your pick. So, chance for Harnoff now to clear through Besson pistols. Yeah, Besson, who's uh, worked her way into the game. So, Besson out wide. Could be an intercept here. Knocked yes. forward there. Cordes Harvey. Folds up with a tackle. He's Besson again. Toe pokes it forward. Bouncing ball. Coming to meet it for the Pies. Ball comes out. Liner involved there. Ball comes into centre of the ground. They'll take a mark here. So the agency of the Arce. Need to move the ball on quick. As we're inside nearly three minutes here. So the Pies need quick goals out here. Isabel Smart reaches it. Sheldrick in the famous 88. Close to the line. Oh, well done. Smart Jr. Gets the ball back here towards the run of a teammate. Gary will be closey. She's under pressure though. Pies. Still not throwing in the towel, that's for sure. I think they've won a free kick here. As we said, uh, no time on here, so time would probably be their biggest enemy now. So three minutes to go. Five, two plays, two, three. Under 17 girls, HFL W Grand Final here on Filming Footy. Yeah, virtually need three goals in three minutes here. But the kick has been intercepted by Mount Lofty. So on the outer side, from the uh, netball courts, Kicks the ball towards the 50 metres for Mount Lofty. Ball bobbing around. To, oh, well done by Mount Lofty. Strolling in. Oh, and he's caught holding the ball. Good tackle pressure there by Harndorf. It was a three-on-one situation. And uh, well done there by the Magpies. So they now are trying to clear here. Looking for a teammate. Yep, takes the mark there. Was Laddams. So Laddams now. Time is of the essence at the moment. Kick smothered. Harndorf now trying to clear. Mount Lofty. Can I kick another goal before the before the win? And uh, just, just oh congested situation. Well done there by Harndorf trying to handle out here. Umpires said play on. Oh good pressure here by Mount Lofty. They're outnumbered, but well done by Harndorf. They're clearing now. So towards the Harndorf coach's box. Oh, well done there by Kira May on the boundary line. Kicks the ball inside forward 50, but it's going to run out. Stays in play. Has it stayed in play? Yep, stayed in play. Uh, yep, stayed in Well done by Handorf. Clearing now. Sheldrick couldn't quite take the mark. Oh, shrugs the tackle. Well done to her. Looking to go forward. Kicks the ball towards the middle of the ground. And Smart couldn't quite take the mark there. Mount Lofty looking to retreat. Kicks the ball forward. Oh, favours the bounds there for Mount Lofty. Get the handball away. Handballing forward. Another inside forward 50 entry. Sheldrick is tackled. She gets the handball away. Besson looking a bit of run here. She runs forward. Kicks the ball towards Hobbs. Hobbs, the bounce doesn't favour her though. Mount Lofty retreat. They kick the ball forward. Couldn't quite take the mark there. Besson again. Good second, third effort. Kicks the ball forward towards the uh, forward 50. Looking there for O'Sullivan. Keeps going, went on by Sullivan, good second, third effort there. Mount Lofty, good defence. Hobbs, well done to her. She gets clear, handballs the ball forward, looking for Darcy. Darcy kicks the ball inside forward, 50, but the ball stays in play, does it? No, nah, it's uh, out of bounds and a, a free kick, last touch rule to Mount Lofty Pistols with just over 30 seconds to play. So, the Devils, all tough. Deep in defence, puts it up, but I think they've taken the... Uh, they'll have the flag, Besson taking the mark there. And I'll tell you one man who'll be very impressed watching our stream, Nick Thompson, the Fabio man. Of course, they've uh, got his own final series starting next Sunday for the Devils. But uh, the Devils winning a flag here already. So, uh, Nick, good that... Uh, no doubt the Devils uh, contingent will be uh, celebrating or not, but not too much. There's men having their uh, A's and B's in the finals next Sunday. Down the line, mark taken here. By close, he plays on and there it is. If you're a devil, Fabio, get around them. So Mount Lofty, 5-2, have defeated Handoff 2-3. So a 17-point margin, if I'm correct here, Jaden J. Yes. 5-2 to 2-3. So well done to Mount Lofty. Coach Lacey Dawson, as we mentioned, she'll be seen in uh, action a little bit later on in the senior 
So I think so. They'll be looking for back-to-back -back flags on grand final day with the 17s having the first leg in here. But uh, well done to Harndorf. Put up a very good fight there. Certainly uh, perhaps a bit of lackluster in the first quarter and a little bit and showed a bit of fight getting yes. that goal. And yeah. The, yeah, but uh, in the end, Mount Lofty just... Um, Proving a little bit too good by a 17-point margin. So congratulations to the Mount Lofty Football Club, HFLW Under-17 Girls Premiership winners for 2023. Yeah, so well done to Mount Lofty. Team just shaking hands here and played in good mm. spirit. Yep. But uh, just shows you a very good game, a bit scrappy in occasions, yep. but uh, certainly shows you the talent, that uh, the teenage talent that's coming yes. into the HFLW system here. And of course, uh, being the, uh, well, the nursery for a, a few good footballs, of course, in the uh, SNFLW ranks. Of course, Monique yes. Bessie out there this afternoon. But then further on to uh, AFL ranks when we look at uh, Zoe Prowse, Zoe Prowse of course, yes. and uh, Kira Mueller from yep. Blackwood. So uh, all in all, a good... Uh, a good promotion for the Hills Football League junior girls football system. All right, we might take a bit of a short break before we'll get back here for the, the main game, the main uh, on the menu, which of course is Blackwood Green taking on Mount Lofty here in the open women's So, At your own arrival, we'll take a short break and be back soon. Nice. 